What's going on guys, Andrew Pillick Sports here, and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a subject that's been going around the baseball universe, specifically in Toronto. Aaron Sanchez, will he be moved to the bullpen or will he stay in the starting rotation? Now we're going to get into all that stuff, but I'd just like to say this subject has been going crazy. This is something that Jays fans and maybe baseball fans have seen coming all year long. Aaron Sanchez had an inning limit because he's still a young pitcher. He was in the the rotation for a little bit last year, then was moved back to the bullpen. It's a sticky situation for Toronto and Aaron Sanchez. It's something that is either going to really make people mad or really make people happy. In this case, I think that it's going to make a lot of fans peeved off. And before we get to the fans' point of view, let's talk about Aaron Sanchez. He put on weight in the offseason so he could be a bit stronger, better in the rotation, better fit as a starter. He's leading the American League in ERA right now, a, a Cy Young candidate. His ERA is 2.71. He's got an 11-1 record, and it doesn't look like he's slowing down whatsoever. Imagine being Aaron Sanchez right now, having a career year, possibly could win a Cy Young at such a young age. No pun intended. But imagine being him. You're right there. You're, you're having a great year and you might end up back in the bullpen. Now, I know you can win a Cy Young while you're in the bullpen, but the thing is, it's not as likely that Sanchez will be looked at as a Cy Young candidate. And I know it it's, it kind of sounds crazy, but I feel like once he gets moved to the bullpen, because it's, it's almost like a guarantee at this point, I just don't think they're going to give it to him. Now, that, that being said, Sanchez has to do the work for the rest of the season to get there, but I think that he could be up for a Cy Young right now if he stayed in the rotation easily. There's a lot of great pitchers in the American League, and he's got the lowest ERA out of all of them right now. That's something that he should be proud of, and that's something that he's probably bringing up right now to our management. If I'm Aaron Sanchez, I'm I'm in the clubhouse going, guys, like, tell, tell them, like, Russell, like, tell them, like, I need to stay in the rotation to help us win games. And then you look at management side of it and they're going, we want to preserve your arm. We want to make sure that you're ready to go for next year. We want to put an inning limit on you right now so that way we can pitch you even more down the stretch when you know, you're in your prime doing your thing. We want you to stay healthy, which I can understand, but not when you're in a playoff race, not when you're trying to win a World Series. He's basically the ace. He's the Sanchez. We need him in the rotation to win ball games. And this is where the fan perspective comes in. He is again again, I'm gonna say it. He's eleven and one. He's leading in ERA. 2.71. He is dominating the league. Like Greg Greg Zahn said, like Jay's fans should be a little bit upset about this. Aaron Sanchez should be a bit upset about this. Now I know it's not set in stone yet, but it's almost looking guaranteed that it's going to happen. What Greg Zahn said that I really agree with is the fact that they're not limiting Stroman and they're not limiting Osuna's innings when both of them are fairly young as well. Os Osuna's like 21 or 22 years old and he's pitching all these innings, pitching three games, four games in a row. I know it's out of a bullpen, but he's he's throwing like 97 at a consistent pace, and they were talking about him possibly being in the rotation this year. So why are we just putting the limit on Sanchez? Hell, are we going to put a limit on Stroman and Osuna while we're at it? Like, you might as well. Sanchez is pitching so well right now, and the fact of the matter is, is to win, you need to have good pitching. And this is where another aspect of it comes in. We At the trade deadline, a pretty crappy trade deadline for the Jays, and I'm sorry they did not improve. I don't, I don't care what anybody says, they didn't improve. They acquired Francisco Lariano. Now, they could improve if he returns to form. People are saying, oh, you know, Russ and him had good chemistry. That doesn't mean that he's automatically going to become a great pitcher again. He can't throw strikes this year. You can't throw strikes. You just can't throw strikes no matter what. It doesn't matter what catcher you have. It, I hope that it's just a clean slate. He comes in here and gets the job done. If he does, that means that the move for Sanchez to the bullpen is a little bit more smoother. As the absolute only way I'm satisfied is if Liriano gets back to his form, whatever they call it, of actually hitting the strike zone. And if, if he does that and Sanchez gets moved to the pen, fine by me. Because then we have a solid rotation and Sanchez solidifies our pen. 
but that's a big risk. Who knows if Liriano's even going to be able to pitch? Like the, the guy, like I said, the guy can't hit the strike zone. His ERA is in the stratosphere. Again, like Greg Zahn said, it's a big risk. So do you let Liriano pitch a couple games, feel him out, see how he's doing, maybe start Sanchez here and there and see how that works out, and then make a decision? Or do you just straight up, after Sanchez's next start, throw Liriano in the rotation and say Sanchez to the bullpen? In a perfect world, one of our other starters goes to the pen or we have a six-man rotation. But the fact of the matter is, Sanchez is the only one that you can really see moving to the pen. You ain't going to put Estrada in there. You aren't putting Stroman in there. You aren't putting Happ in there. I mean, you can't really put Liriano in there. And I guess Dickey is, like, untouchable to go to the bullpen, which... Personally, I don't care who you are, you're a pitcher, and I want to win a ball game. Any one of them should be in the bullpen. When you're 11-1 and one and you lead the league in ERA, you're not going to the bullpen because I want to win baseball games. But I'm not in charge, so it's not up to me. So my final point of view on this is, when this decision happens, because this decision could take a couple weeks, mind you, because this could change. Unless they really say, like, firm, he's going to the bullpen, that's it then then you're, there's really no argument. But the thing is, they could go, we're going to feel it out for a couple weeks and then get back to a decision, which would really irritate me. I can't wait that long. Like I said, my final thought is, I want Sanchez in the rotation. Let him stay in there. He put on the weight to be in the rotation. He's shown that he's good enough to be in the rotation. You're not putting an inning limit on Strowman or Osuna, so why are you putting one on Sanchez? Let him pitch. I understand where they're coming from where it comes when it comes to preserving his arm and hoping that you know he can pitch longer into his career. The weight that he put on I think is for that and I'm hoping that they'll see that and I hope 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 that this is the right move because I don't want this to affect Sanchez's career or maybe some bad blood in the locker room or between Sanchez and our management. Don't forget, Sanchez might be young, but he could say this is really not making them, you know, they, they, may be tell, they may be telling me that they want to preserve my arm. But at the same time, I want to pitch in the rotation. I want to be that guy. But let me know in the comments, Facebook, wherever you are watching this video. Let me know what you think about Aaron Sanchez going to the bullpen, whether or not you think it's a good or bad idea. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.